Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. This is your host, as always, Wheel Neo. Ugh. You might be saying, Wheel Neo, this isn't Grunty Industries. No, it's not. It's Grunty's lair, though. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you no secret cheat. I didn't know Cheeto was from uh, Boston. Or, <laughs> not Boston, New York. Fuck. Fallproof, got it. Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. You can probably guess what Fallproof does. After all, we, uh, we, uh, Neo. We, uh, Neo. Yeah. You know, because that's the thing. Anyways, how are you lovely people today? I'm doing fine with my rhyme, just in time. Whoa! Okay, I did not mean to do that, but... <laughs> Huh. Huh. Let's just pretend it never happened. Anyways, we are off to Mayhem Temple. Mayhem, Mayhem. And we are going to be uh, typing in our little secret sheet that we just got. So, all aboard the fail train. And I know you guys are probably pissed. You're probably like, Ugh, get back to Grunty Industries. Keep doing that stuff. And I would love to. I would love to, but... Unfortunately, we gotta do this stuff. It's been a long time coming. I've been, like, rearing to go with, you know, getting this shit done. Unfortunately, it's, a uh, Hasn't been going my way. I'm trying to get these Cheeto pages in. So, let's type in our new cheat, which is, obviously, as you heard previously, it's fall proof. Uh, where's P? P! P! Oh. Fall proof. Proof has two O's. <laughs> wow. Man, I am smart. Uh -huh. The fall proof cheat will keep you from being hurt in long falls. Yep. Just as the name implies, we no longer take fall damage. When we have fallproof on, no energy loss from falling. And that'll be very helpful, kinda, in Grunty Industries. It means we can uh, definitely, like, in the elevator shaft, we could just jump from the top to the bottom and not take a single fall damage. Or we could just jump off the building in general. That could also work. I also know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, why don't you cut all this out? You getting back there and ugh. I, once again, I would, but. <laughs> Sorry, it's just too much of a pain to edit, so I'm saving my future self time. Also, as you, uh, well, actually, you probably don't know. There goes my voice cracking again. Jeez, puberty's rough, eh? Holy crap. Why did I go to Wasteland? Ugh. Hold on. My frigid body can't handle the teleporting. I can't go too long of a distance or else my frigid body will snap in the uh, in the vortex that is the teleporters. So, what we're going to be doing is um, going back to Grunt Industries. Hey, look at that, we're already here. <laughs> How you like it. Um, but yeah, we need to go back up to the boiler plant. Yeah! Alright, because that's where we left off. We channeled battery power to the door. Do I have a warp for floor 3 yet? Oh my goodness. I do. Awesome. Damn it. Oh, and it's all the way the butt fuck back here. Um... You know what, you guys, you can call me crazy all you want. Call me crazy. Call me dubiously insane. But I'm going to go back to floor one. I know, you guys are like, Will O'Neal, what are you doing? I don't know why you guys talk like that. You got to get that checked out. But, uh, yeah. I'm just going to take the elevator shaft to get up there because... Wait, this is the elevator, right? It's a service elevator, yeah. Not exactly the elevator, you derp stick. 
You dubstep. That's the train station. Where is the... <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe I'm like... Having a... Look at the state of my overalls. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. We know. know. I could have sworn. Oh my god. So here's the famous elevator shaft of Doom. Um, it's got scary music in here too. We haven't unlocked second floor yet, so we're not going to bother stopping there. But yellow is third floor, which we will be stopping by. So yeah. At least I hope we have. Yeah, we have opened it. Nice little egg refill right there. Here we are back to where we left off. At least I'm pretty sure we did. We opened up the uh, packing room and then we stopped. So we're gonna do the jiggy that's in here right now. Okay, so basically, Twinkly Packing Challenge has been located. No, we don't need no rules. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh! 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 oh. So basically, as you can probably guess, there are speedy shoes in here, and your object is to collect these things, which I'm going to suck horribly at. Wow, I'm already sucking. But basically, as you collect Twinklies, you slow down, as you can probably notice, because you're getting heavier. You can't carry as much. But generally, people, some people like to uh, just go all out and don't care about how slow they're getting and they just sort of you know collect until the last few seconds but basically to get rid of some of them you basically go to their station over there in the back and you drop them off and then it calculates your score for how much you just dropped off it's like we have 10 seconds left so we might as well do this now just got 10 16 18 i'm not even sure if that's enough but let's toss those last three ones in pack requirements have been met a bonus will now be rewarded we got a jiggy! Awesome. Do you want to play again? No. Thank you for the jiggy, though. That was quite... Uh, that was quite... It was, it was quite something. Whoa, where am I going? Whoa, I got all lost and discombobulated. It's so dark in here. Okay, so... The electromagnetic chamber, is that... Wait, we already did that, didn't we? Yeah, I swear, we... Did we? Oh, whole game. You're gonna be such a... You're gonna be in so much trouble. I don't even know how you get the Mumbo's hut from here. The hell? I guess through this door over here, but... I don't know. Okay, yeah, it is. So it is up here. Well, and I was being incredibly lazy earlier. And the electromagnetic chamber is on the second floor, right? You know, where we had the uh, washing machine and all those types of troubles. And I was like, oh, jeez. Wait, no, let's go inside. I said go outside! Okay, good thing we got a Globo, because we're going to need it. Obviously. Whoa, don't want to burn down Mumbo's house. I think he's definitely not going to help us. Welcome home again. What do you mean? Oh, he probably didn't say that. I'm just reading out my ass. Reading out of my ass. What a great, expre what a great expression. I can't talk today. Mumbo's magic bag of hallucinogenic drugs. Which he takes frequently. Hence why he collects Globos. So. Now let's take Mumbo down to the second floor. And try to find the electromagnetic chamber. Again. Because we found it once. We can find it again. At least I think we can. Is this it? Yep. Awesome. And we knock down the uh, floor panel so we can freely roam 
in here and do what we need to do. So let's do it. Oh, and there's the elevator for floor two. What the hell, man? Magnet malfunction. Auto fixing program initiated. Magnet will be reactivated in 90 seconds. So, in that 90 seconds, we gotta haul ass out of here. Because basically, if you saw, in front of the magnet was a gigantic ass button. Now, no one and nothing in this game weighs enough to push down that button. Except for a certain transformation. <laughs> That's right, the Daddy T-Rex from Pterodactyl Land. We gotta go all the way back there. Somehow sneak into here. But no, this Jiggy might give some people some trouble. I can imagine it would. Because it's a lot of switching out, transforming, then getting there, and then getting back, and... Ugh. It's a good thing your timer uh, freezes when you're on the warps. Kinda makes you think, you know, does time freeze? when we are trying to warp. Same thing with transforming. Time freezes then also. We're back to a washing machine. Squeak, squeak, squeak. All day long. I don't even know what that means. Forget about it. Okay, let's get in here and push that button. See what it does. Okay, and boom. Oh, now I remember what this does. Basement air conditioning plant. We just unlocked the repair depot. And that is where we're going to find our level boss. Believe it or not. Unfortunately, I'm not even sure if we're going to be doing that right now. Might not. Might. Might. Psst. I don't know. We. I'm contemplating it. Doing it right now. Because... Hold on, let me check my time. Okay. We're, we're good on time. We're good on time. Don't worry about it. Before we do anything, though, I'm definitely going back to the electromagnetic chamber. Lord knows we'll be going back and forth this room all damn day. But we're actually going to go back in here and unlock the elevator, because now that I know that it's up here, uh, it's definitely going to be minorly helpful. I don't know, it's weird because you have the elevator shaft in this level, and then you also have the uh, warps. And it's hard to distinguish what's worth warping. It, if you're trying to get somewhere, it's hard to distinguish whether it's worth warping or, you know, taking the elevator. But, yeah. You know, screw it, we are going to go down to the basement and do that right now. Wait, I have no fall damage. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. How do we get to the basement? Isn't it over here? Yep. Aircon plant. It's like the most unknown door on the planet is down right there. A lot of people miss that. Into the scary basement of scariness. Now, no, a lot of people uh, will say this. Don't come down here as a washing machine because there is a way to get permanently stuck in here. And the only way to get out is, you know, resetting the game. All these gears and wheels are turning and I can't do anything. We're actually, yeah, grabbing some more clockwork kazooie eggs because we're going to need them. Um, that's a Cheeto page, except we can't get that yet. Is that where we need to get to? Um. Oh no! It is in here! See, you're like, oh, let me cross over there. Nope. I forgot that this room is just incredibly huge. 